If you read this, if you find this book, well, first, that pile of bones next to it is probably me. And second, I have no answers. But I can tell you what I've seen and what I know. I call this place Town. I always write this one with a capital T, because I think this is where I'm from. It didn't always look like this. I was probably born in a hospital to a family with a home. I don't remember its name, don't remember their names, don't know what happened, I was too young. But there's nothing there anymore. Between towns, there's hundreds of miles of nothing, and the nothing can get really weird sometimes. I collect pieces. They're not as old as everything else, and I'm following the breadcrumbs. I find books like mine on the bones of people like me that didn't make it as far. Some of the books speak of a town where there are still people and borders, a place where the children are safe and everyone is pretty. <laughs> it sounds like a paradise. <laughs> I hope it's real. They're called freaks. That's what the books I find call them anyway. They're everywhere. I think they had something to do with capital T, town. Maybe all towns. They're the only living things I ever see out here. Some are alone, others stick together, migrating to who knows where, but most just sit and watch from a distance. Some follow until they just stop, but others, others don't seem to see me at all. try to avoid them as much as I can, but eventually, inevitably, one will get curious and close. They can be extremely violent if you don't behave. killed everything and everyone I knew, but I don't hate them. Sometimes I get the feeling they're as homeless as I am. Something doesn't make sense. 
I'm finding more pieces, more people. They're getting more frequent and I'm getting closer, but the more I think about it, it doesn't make sense. All these people going the same way away. A place so pretty and perfect. Why? Why would they leave? <laughs>